The reading for Saturday, 22nd August, 2020. A reading from the book of Ezekiel, chapter 43, verses 1 to 7. He took me to the gate, the one facing east. I saw the glory of God of Israel approaching from the east. A sound came with him like the sound of the ocean, and the earth shone with his glory. This vision was like the one I had seen when I had come for the destruction of the city, and like the one I had seen by the river Cheba. Then I fell to the ground. The glory of Yahweh arrived at the temple by the east gate. The Spirit lifted me up and brought me into the inner court. I saw the glory of Yahweh fill the temple. And I heard someone speaking to me from the temple while the man stood beside me. He said, Son of man, this is the dais of my throne, the step on which I rest my feet. I shall live here among the Israelites forever, and the house of Israel, they and their kings, will never again defile my holy name with their whorings and the corpses of their kings. The word of the Lord. The Gospel reading is taken from the book of Matthew, chapter 23, verses 1 to 12. Then, addressing the crowds and his disciples, Jesus said, The scribes and the Pharisees occupy the chair of Moses. You must therefore do and observe what they tell you. But do not be guided by what they do, since they do not practice what they preach. They tie up heavy burdens and lay them on people's shoulders. But will they lift a finger to move them? Not they. Everything they do is done to attract attention, like wearing broader headbands and longer tassels, like wanting to take the place of honour at banquets and the front seats in the synagogues being greeted respectfully in the market squares and having people call them rabbi. You, however, must not allow yourselves to be called rabbi, since you only have one master and you are all brothers. You must call no one on earth your father, since you have only one father and he is in heaven. Nor must you allow yourselves to be called teachers, for you only have one teacher, the Christ. The greatest among you must be your servant. Anyone who raises himself will be humbled, and anyone who humbles himself will be raised. The Gospel of the Lord. <laughs> 